here we have a plot of medium red clover. This clover was frost seeded in early April into the standing existing wheat crop. So therefore the, the clover grew through the spring and early summer at the same time that the wheat crop was in the soil and growing. After harvest, we removed the, the plant plant from the, the area and now the clover is exposed fully to the sunlight and can continue producing. And we can see a real good growth and some taproot here with the medium red clover. And one of the advantages of having a frost seeded clover like this is that if we get to a very dry period in August or late summer, uh, some of our summer seeded cover crops may have a hard time getting germinated and established. But what happens to the red clover? Well, it's already been established in the spring. It's rooted down. It may go a little dormant through those hot, dry spells, but it's not going away. And as soon as it cools down and we get more moisture like we have again this fall, uh, these plants really can take off. And as you can see, it's smothering out any of our annual weeds. And it provides a, a very good uh, base of biomass cover here and contributes a lot of nitrogen again. Uh, we can let this crop uh, grow on through the winter time and early spring. And we can then treat it with herbicides next spring before we plant corn no-till into this. So medium red clover is an older fashioned type of cover crop but still does very well in a lot of uh, situations where wheat is planted.